Why are so many people getting waitlisted? This is probably one of the biggest questions I'm getting from students right now. People are getting their admissions back or waitlisted back, but admission responses and people are trying to figure out, look, I got waitlisted like three schools, right? Now, yes, people are getting admitted, but they're also getting waitlisted very unlikely places. So they're trying to figure out why, why are they getting waitlisted? So this video is going into it. Check it out. The vast majority of people that are applying to colleges in the US, they're applying to tons of them, okay? So I'm not just talking like two, three, four schools. I'm talking like four or five safety schools, four or five target schools, four or five reach schools. And because of that, you have this massive inflation in admissions applications into universities. We're talking 80, 90, 100,000 applicants for maybe only like five or 10,000 spots, maybe even fewer, right? So you gotta realize you have this enormous number of people trying to gain admissions into a very select number of colleges. Well, the problem with that is that, look, at the top end, if you get into Harvard, fine, you're going to Harvard, right? And, and everybody who's admitted to Harvard, I'm sure they have a matriculation percentage of like well into the high 90s because who's gonna get into Harvard and then not go? But for the other schools, like say Cal Poly or schools in Washington or schools in, schools in Illinois, you have people applying to those schools, right? That have no actual desire to go or they'll only go if they don't get into their top choice. That puts the admissions officers in a very odd spot. You're an admissions officer. You're trying to determine who to accept. Now, based on your acceptances, because you can only give a limited number, you have to figure out who's actually gonna come to your school. That's a real problem, okay? So when you're determining who's gonna come to your school, you're determining who's most likely to accept your offer. Now that means you have to eliminate a large pool of people that you think are just applying for safety schools. So if you're applying to like a mid-range school and you have a four six, four seven, odds are you don't really want to go there. Well, the admissions officers know that, so they figure out, okay, look, are the are the is the applicants criterion for the application, are they are they too good? Are they overqualified? Essentially is all they're trying to figure out. And they also determine, like, okay, look, who actually can't really do it? Right, And then from there, they have this chunk of people that are academically qualified, that they're pretty sure want to come, but they don't know. So they accept the people who have the most compelling essays and compelling qualifications and compelling extracurriculars. And then the other people, the applications, they say, well, look, I'm going to wait list you. Okay, so because you have tens and tens and tens of thousands of people applying, you have to wait list a large number of people. And I'll, go, I'll do another video that goes over what to do if you get waitlisted, so don't worry about that. But just understand that the reason we're getting so many waitlisted people is because we have people applying to so many dang schools. If you want fewer waitlists, we kind of collectively as a college going society have to stop applying to 15 and 20 different schools because that would make it a lot easier for people in the admissions board to figure out, okay, this person actually wants to go here or they don't, right? And just by the fact that you're applying, if you actually want to go there and you apply, that means you actually want to go there, right? But instead, we have people applying that don't really want to go there. So that's why a lot of people are getting waitlisted. Don't freak out if you get waitlisted. I'll do another video soon talking about what to do if you do get waitlisted. But the number one thing you need to not do is freak out. Don't have your cousins, uncles, neighbors, friend who knows somebody who knows somebody start writing letters and make some giant campaign. Definitely don't make a stink on social media. Don't do any of those things. We'll get into it. But again, the reason so many people are getting waitlisted is because we have so many dang applications. We need to turn down the number of applications we do. You don't need to apply to 15 and 20 schools. You really only need to apply maybe to five to eight and go from there.